Hey everyone, welcome. It's uh, half past one, so let's go on to the next parallel session. We have three speakers for you this afternoon. Uh, for those of you who are following online, I want to remind you of the uh, Q&A ID for the VVOX session. The ID is 103-237-391. So once again, 103-237-391. So for any questions during the last five minutes of each session. Okay, we kick off with uh, Ewan McAndrew. Ewan, the floor is yours. Thank you. So, yes, hello. Uh, my name is Ewan. I work as the Wikimedian in residence at the University of Edinburgh. So my role here today is to explain a little about what I do and why we think there's a role a need even for Wikimedia in teaching and learning. You can find more about the residency and its work by typing Wikipedia colon University of Edinburgh into the search bar of Wikipedia, of Wikipedia itself. You can find more about Wikipedia aged 18 years old and the state of the project at the bits.ly link, Wikipedia 2019. And you can find student and staff feedback, video interviews that we've done at tinyurl.com forward slash student vids, along with approximately 255 videos and video tutorials. So this conference is a very timely one for reflecting on the work uh, we've been doing here at the University of Edinburgh over the last three and a half years now. And it's my first time at Alt. So time, time for thought and reflection. So I thought I'd start, because we're all back from lunch, is let's just start by taking a deep breath. Actually, take two, because I invite you to imagine you're in a sauna. Bear with me for a little wiki mindfulness. Uh, if you want to, you can close your eyes and just imagine you're in this sauna. You can smell the wood, smell the chlorine, Feel the heat on your face, your arms, and hear the playful splashing in the swimming pool outside. You're in your happy place. Now imagine a guy called Patrick is asking you what you do for a living, and you tell Patrick, why, I'm a Wikipedian at the University of Edinburgh. And Patrick replies, cool. What's Wikipedia got to do with universities? So have a think for a moment. What is the link between Wikipedia and universities? Put it in the VVOX, if you like. What would you say? How would you answer? We'll be having a panel just after this session where we'll be discussing just that. I was a bit stumped for a minute when I thought about it until I remembered uh, my Hales Higher Education Award. Uh, but I don't like to talk about that. But in terms of answering Patrick's question, it was a fair question. Let's see. How about the shared vision and mission statements? This idea that there is the both communities, the Wikipedia and higher education communities, are involved in the creation, curation, and dissemination of knowledge. And as Sue Beckham said, it's about understanding and engaging with the relationships we have with the open web, how people are creating, curating, and contesting knowledge online, and our relationship with big digital intermediaries like Facebook, like Google, like Amazon, and Wikipedia, the fifth most visited website in the world, and the first port of call for many for their information needs. So, what about digital skills? The digital skills aspect, it's widely recognized that digital capabilities are a key component in graduate employability. So many reports make this clear. So supporting learning good digital research skills, synthesizing that information, and then communicating it in a rapidly changing digital world is so, so important right now. And it's also about supporting developing a more robust critical information literacy. This is the SILIP definition of information literacy, to think critically and make balanced judgments about information. It empowers us as citizens to reach and express informed views and to engage fully with society. 
Our experience with our academic support librarians is that working with Wikipedia achieves this. At its heart, though, it's about the fact that search is the way we live now. And it's about engaging with all sorts of different aspects. Wikimedia work affords working in looking at open access, looking at copyright, looking at how we support open science, public engagement with research, public engagement with collections, and so more, and so on. And it's about this. When you turn on a tap, you expect clean water to come out. And when you do a search, you expect good information to come out. And the fact that information that's on Wikipedia spreads across the internet, and what's right or wrong or indeed missing affects the entire internet. Representation matters. Fact-checking matters. And this is how Wikipedia is often framed in t teaching and learning. It's about warning students about its use, pros and cons, it's something to be consumed at your peril. When Wikipedia and education should really spin this on its head. It's about what you can also contribute as an institution, as staff and as students, and what you can then get out of that teaching and learning experience as a result. Indeed, the ALT website defines learning technology as the broad range of communication, information, and related technologies that can be used to support learning, teaching, and assessment. Wikipedia is learning technology. We don't often think of it like that, but it is. It's the largest open knowledge resource in human history that is free and open and anyone to contribute to. Now aged 18 years old, Wikipedia ranks among the world's top 10 websites for scholarly resource lookups and is extensively used by virtually every platform used on a daily basis, receiving over 500 million views per month from 1.5 billion unique devices. Quite simply, Wikipedia is today the gateway through which millions of people now seek access to knowledge. Ergo, Wikimedians are learning technologists. And a Wikimedian, for those that don't know, they don't just appear, they learn how to edit Wikipedia so that they can train other people. My own background is in uh, secondary school English. Others come from different backgrounds entirely. These skills are easy to learn and they're easy to communicate to other people. Ergo, learning technologists are Wikimedians. Or they should be, because at the University of Edinburgh, we have quickly generated real examples of technology-enhanced learning activities appropriate to the curriculum that have been repeated year on year because of the positive reactions of staff and students. We have transformed our students from, and staff and members of the, public, pub, of the public from being passive readers and consumers to being active, engaged contributors. Uh, the courses in red are the ones we did in year one. Courses in blue are the ones we've done in year two, uh, combined with year one. And now we've extended uh, to the courses in green in year three. These courses are growing, they're expanding, and we're now looking to support more online environment course programs. The result is that our community is more engaged with knowledge creation online, and readers all over the world benefit from our teaching, research, and collections. Our Wikimedia and the curriculum activities bring benefits to the stu students who learn new skills and have immediate impact in addressing both the diversity of editors and diversity of content shared online. Global Health Master students add around 200 words to Global Health related articles, and their edits to the page on obesity, for example, are viewed something like 3,000 times per day on average. Digital Sociology Master students engage in workshops with how sociology is communicated and how knowledge is created and curated online. And Reproductive Biology students they work in groups in two workshops at the beginning of the semester, learning about digital research skills from our academic support librarians so that they can work collaboratively to research and publish new articles on reproductive biomedical terms not yet on Wikipedia. 
One student's article on high-grade serous carcinoma, one of the most common forms of ovarian cancer and most deadly, didn't exist on Wikipedia. This student's work includes 60 references that she researched and diagrams she created because she couldn't find copyrighted freed ones online. It's been viewed something like 74,000 times since it was first published. That's impact. Translation studies master students gain meaningful published practice each semester by translating 2,000 words to share knowledge between two different language Wikipedias on a topic of their own choosing from the highest quality artic articles. World Christianity master students spend the semester undertaking a literature review assignment to make the subject much less about white Northern Hemisphere's perspectives, creating new articles on Asian feminist theology, sub-Saharan political theology, and more. Data science for design students Wikipedia has a sister project, Wikidata, which affords the students the opportunity to work practically with research data sets like the Survey of Scottish Witchcraft database and surface data to the linked open data cloud and explore different visualizations and the direct and indirect relationships at play in this semantic web of knowledge to help further discovery. We also work with student societies, law and technology, history, translation, women in STEM, and have held events for Ada Lovelace Day, LGBT History Month, Black History Month, Mental Health Awareness Week, and celebrated Edinburgh's global alumni, working with the Uncover Ed Project and the Commonwealth Scholarship Commission. Students are addressing serious knowledge gaps and are intrinsically motivated to communicate their scholarship because of this. They benefit from the practice academically and enjoy doing it personally because their scholarship is published, lasting long beyond the assignment and does something for the common good for an audience of not one, not just their tutor, but an audience of millions. Why engage at all? I think we know that representation matters and that gender inequality in science and technology is all too real. Gaps in our shared knowledge exclude the vitally important contributions of many within our community. And role models, trailblazers are important. You can't be what you can't see. Take 65% of our participating editors at the University of Edinburgh have been women. That's quite a difference from the normal 10% average of Wikipedia editors. And on the reproductive biology uh, course, it's 90% women who edit on that course. The choices being made in creating new pages and increasing the visibility of topics and the visibility of inspirational role models online can not only help shape public understanding around the world for the better, but can also help inform and shape our physical environments to inspire the next generation. Wikipedia in the curriculum involves identifying reliable secondary sources we can cite and sometimes the lack thereof. Discussing whose knowledge, open access, bias, neutral point of view, writing for a lay audience and copyright. These are all absolutely appropriate for the modern graduate. The skills needed by those contributing to, to Wikimedia are the same digital literacy skills which a degree at the University of Edinburgh is designed to develop. Those of critical reading, summarizing, paraphrasing, original writing, referencing, citing, publishing, data handling, and understanding your audience. In this era of fake news, it has never been more important that our students understand how information is published, shared, and contested online. And beyond this, feel empowered that they can do something positive to share fact-check knowledge and help build understanding. Why? Because it's an emotional connection. Within, I'd say, less than two hours of me putting her page in place, it was the top hit that came back in Google when I Googled it. And I thought, that's it. That's impact right there. Just to finish, things can look bleak at times. Picking up from Sue Beckingham's keynote, a, keynote, a year ago, Tim Berners-Lee was on Channel 4 News being interviewed about the Facebook and Cambridge Analytica scandal. And he said this, we need to rethink our attitude to the internet. It's not enough just to keep the web open and free. We must also keep a track of what people are building on it. 
look at the systems that people are using, like the social networks, and look at whether they're actually helping humanity. Are they being constructive or are they being destructive? Happily, he cheered up a few months later when he was giving his Turing Award lecture in Amsterdam in May 2018. He did, while he still feels that the open web is at something of crossroads and could go either way, constructive or destructive, he found words of praise for Wikipedia. It is amazing that humanity has proved, produced Wikipedia. It is an act of human generosity. And he's, that's my experience of working with Wikipedia over the last three and a half years. The research, the feedback from staff and students all bear this out. People do feel they are doing something inherently good and worthwhile in sharing verifiable open knowledge, and they learn so much from engaging in this process. They become knowledge activists. I commend it to you as a hugely impactful form of learning technology. Thank you. Thank you, Ewan. We've got three minutes for a few questions. Anyone in the audience? No, there's some questions online. The first one is, um, what's exactly the difference because you talk about Wikipedia and Wikimedia and you sometimes interchange, seem to interchange them. So yeah, maybe it's, a, it's a commonly not, mis not understood uh, difference. Uh, Wikipedia is the free open online encyclopedia. It started in 2001. Wikimedia is the foundation, the 100% non-profit foundation uh, that supports and develops uh, around about a dozen open knowledge projects of which Wikipedia is by far the best known. Yeah. Okay, thanks. There's a comment from someone saying, excellent work, example of development of digital literacy. So they thank you for that. Um, someone else asks, do you have examples of assessment criteria used for Wikipedia assessments? Um, sorry. Got different models. Um, a lot of course leaders uh, like to start off in a small scale way and have it as an unassessed elective. Mm -hmm. um, and but also equally, some people go straight in and um, swap it out with oral assessment, five percent of course credit. We do have rubrics we can provide um, that for different ways of judging mm -hmm. criteria of quality of articles, okay. um, and we. Or have other sort of peer assessment um, guides that are also used as well. Okay. Thank you. Um, someone else says, thinking back to my own university days, I had friends who would write their essays from Wikipedia and would go back and reference with proper academic papers afterwards. How do you deal with this kind of... Uh, they would write their essays from Wikipedia and go back and reference... Proper academic papers afterwards. So they're citing, yeah, we, we would not advocate citing Wikipedia. Uh, in, uh, the idea is we want students to write Wikipedia mm -hmm. using reliable published secondary sources. Um, and Wikipedia does not want it. It's a tertiary source, mm -hmm. an academic encyclopedia, which based on articles which cite reliable published secondary sources. If you want to cite anything, cite those. Mm -hmm. But check their reliability yes. also. Yeah. Okay, I think and there is, you know, obviously Turnitin software yeah, that you can use to check sure. copyright violation and things like that. Okay. Any other questions from the audience? Yes, there's a question here. Is the microphone? Okay. University of York. Yeah. Um, it's just a really practical question. I just wondered, obviously in the first year, if someone's creating a new page, on an underdeveloped topic. I can see how that works really well. Just wondered how you then deal with it in subsequent years if you start to run out of... Okay, uh, so it depends with which language Wikipedia you're working in. English Wikipedia is by far the largest with 5.8 million articles. The other language Wikipedias have a lot fewer. Um, and it's estimated that English Wikipedia, if it was trying to cover all the, the sum of whole human knowledge, it should have at least 105 million articles. So we're only 100 million articles shy of where we need to be. And that number keeps on going up month on month. So there are articles missing. There are stub articles that need improved. It's always going to be a work in progress. Um, but sometimes you can change the, the topic or the slight angle at which you're approaching the assignment from. 
I know that the University of Portsmouth have asked their students to write about villages in England and Wales, and because they had a large cohort year on year, that they started running out of villages. Okay. Scotland's been untouched, I'm just saying that. <laughs> okay, thank you again, Ewan. Okay. Our next presentation is uh, about designing a new digital... Edina's work with learning technologists helps to develop skilled, data literate students who can change our world for the better. Teachers and students can develop and share coding skills with multiple, our Jupyter Notebook servers. Our Digimap services deliver high quality mapping data for all stages of education. Future developments include a text and data mining service, working with satellite data and machine learning, and smart campus technology.